Hello, my name is Jed Demuel. I'm the author of Administering and Configuring Amazon Connect. Amazon Connect is a SaaS solution. It's a software as a service, cloud-based solution. One of the real benefits of it is it's scalable. It goes from everything from a small business up to a large enterprise or government institution. Uh, lots of the features that we have include things like ACD skills-based routing, uh, of course, call recording, real-time and historical analytics, and of course, we support both voice and chat for all contacts. Other benefits of Amazon Connect include the ability to easily provision and configure Amazon Connect. We have uh, also have something called dynamic contact flows. Contact flows are the way that you program your business logic uh, through a graphical drag and drop tool. There's a strong and robust partner community. We can integrate with uh, third parties such as Salesforce or ServiceNow or many others, really anything that has an API can be integrated with Amazon Connect. And of course, there's the AWS uh, ecosystem. Many of the services in AWS can also be integrated with Amazon Connect. This is a three-day hands-on intensive lab course. Uh, you'll be performing around 15 exercises. Uh, the majority of time will be spent in lab. There is also a lecture. Uh, one of the greatest things about this course is that you can optionally, if you choose, build your own instance as during the lab portion and take it with you when you're done uh, with the class. Uh, this does, however, require that you have an AWS account, which also requires that you have a credit card on file with Amazon. If you don't wish to do that, you're welcome to use our lab environment and we'll foot the bill. This course is intended for administrators, engineers, and AWS partners. The outline of the course is as follows. We're going to look at how to deploy Amazon Connect and place a phone call to an agent all within 10 minutes. So the ease of provisioning is gonna be displayed to you. We'll be able to get an agent up and running in less than 10 minutes. We're gonna talk about scripting with contact flows. We're gonna talk about the, the, how to write your business logic into contact flows repeatedly throughout this, throughout this course. We're gonna look at contact attributes. If you're not familiar with what contact attributes are, they are variables. These can be used for two things. They can be used for screen pops to agents, or they can be used in the contact flows to make decisions. For example, if I'm a premium customer versus a new customer, I might be treated differently. Uh, we also can use poly. Poly is the same technology that Amazon Alexa is based on, and we can use Poly in our contact flows to make them voice enabled. You also can use your own recorded WAV files, of course. We can also build bots for both chat and voice that are uh, anything, everything from basic to very intelligent. So imagine that you're on a website and you get the little pop-up that says, hey, I'm the, uh, I'm the assistant, how can I help you today? And it can answer very simple basic questions, or if you want to spend the time programming a more complicated Lexbot, that is also possible. We're going to look at how to integrate with uh, Lambda, Amazon Lambda. Lambda is a, a service, serverless application, uh, usually written in some programming language, uh, commonly Python and JavaScript would be the most common ones, uh, but others are supported as well. And we are going to integrate with Lambda in Amazon Connect. This is going to allow us in our labs to do things like connect to a database and retrieve data and then use that data to make routing decisions in our contact flow. We also have queued callback. Um, this is also in the industry commonly referred to as courtesy callback. Uh, this basically says I've reached some uh, predefined threshold and I now want to offer these callers the ability to be called back. We're going to look at how to customize the agent interface. We're going to uh, learn how to do recording and monitoring uh, in Amazon Connect. And we are going to look, learn about reporting and dashboards and how to customize those and how to build custom ones. Finally, we are, of course, going to look at troubleshooting the solution. Uh, this topic will actually be embedded in the other topics as we go throughout the week. And I'm sure you'll have plenty of opportunity to troubleshoot the labs.